Hey guys, welcome to Coder Station. In today's video, we are going to see what are the building blocks of Python. It is a part 2 of the video. In first part, we have seen what are the building blocks of Python and we have also seen them in theoretical way. In this video, I will show you how to use them and what is the importance of the rules which I stated in the last video. So let's get started. So first we will start with the variable. So now while declaring a variable, we must be aware that a variable can be of any length. You can store any value in a variable. Um, naming a variable is important because you cannot use underscores, spaces, tabs and it cannot start with a letter it cannot sorry it cannot start with a digit so uh, we will declare a variable a and assign it value as 10 and and we will try to print a when we run the program we are getting the value as a now uh, the first rule is clear that it must start with the letter uh, we if you want you can try putting one over here or any other digit if you want and I'll print this so it will throw an error like uh, invalid decimal literal it is a syntactical error obviously um, you cannot use symbol in it uh, let us use add the rate and here also I'll use add the rate as you can see you cannot use simple a symbol to start a letter similarly you also cannot use tabs or spaces to declare a variable let me show you see it will give you invalid syntax because you have given space in between them ah, but when you write them in a attached manner in a word form then it will give you a correct output similarly we have seen that um, variables are case sensitive um, we will try to print a2 and we will assign it the value as 20 so a2 and here also we will write a2 and when we run the program we are getting the value as 20 because uh, a a both the a differs in their cases First A is a lower case, second case is a upper case. So I hope so you have understood the variables. Now in this way we are accessing a variable but storing them in this form is a, a bit difficult task. So to simplify, uh, simplify our task we use identifiers. Identifier are the name given to variable functions etc. So we will name this as uh, bigger and this as smaller so we will try to print this both so as you can see when we are printing smaller then we are getting the value as 10 so similarly the there it is declared that identifiers and variables have some set of, have same set of rules and both are case sensitive now we will now i will show you how to use keywords so let us take a simple if else program so i'll declare the values as a is equal a is equal to 10 and b is also equals to 10 now we will write a if else program if a is equal to equal to b and we will give a colon over here and we have to maintain indentation over here whenever you click enter you will interpreter will automatically maintain some space that's for the programming purpose and that's for your convenience now if a is equal to equal to b then we will print a and a and b both are 
equal and if they both are not equal then we will print else print not equal now we will run this program so as you can see that a and b both are equal because we have given equal values to them now i will show you what happens if you don't maintain an indentation indentation is python in is very important whenever you don't follow the indentation in python you will get an indentational error similarly when you follow indentation you will not get an error because indentation in other programming languages are you just to beautify the code but python uses it for if the block of the code so we have seen indentation identifier variable and keyword the last part of the video which we are going to see is commenting now commenting in python is used now commenting is used for testing the code and also we can use to write a meaningful code for example now i will i have written a program where a, the value of a is equals to 10 and value of b is equals to 20 and if a is equal to equal to b then it will print a and b both are equal but in this case you can able to you are able to see that both are not equal so we will comment the else part and we will run the program you can see it cannot display anything because um, the condition is not matched in the if part and there is no else part in the program similarly you can write comments in the codes like uh, this is if block and this is else block so commenting like this um, helps the tester if you are working on a higher level that is in a professional world um, it will help the tester to identify like uh, yeah this is the if block this is the else block when you have provided the comments properly so all of these building blocks of python are very important and you must practice it thoroughly so thank you for watching this video i hope you like the video stay tuned for the next video in our channel thank you Thank you.